Well, astonishing visuals of loot and plunder are coming in from Los Angeles County. United States railway tracks filled with empty cartons and packages are making it to every user's feed on social media. The visuals on your screens now as we speak are from a nation that prides itself in being the greatest. Since December of 2020, cases of loot and plunder on the Los Angeles railway line have gone up by 160%. Despite surveillance measures, nothing seems to be stopping the plunderers who wait until the long freight trains are immobilized on the tracks and then climb onto the freight containers whose locks they easily break with the help of bolt cutters. They then help uh, themselves to parcels, ditching any products that are difficult to move or resell or are too cheap, such as COVID-19 test kits, furniture or medications. According to LA Operations, estimates that uh, damages from such thefts in 2021 amounted to some $5 million. While organizations such as the New York Times blatantly mock India on its space plans, it seems domestically the nation is struggling with Los Angeles. Uh, live with us, uh, Sri Iyer, founder, P Guru, and foreign policy analyst, joins us live. Let me uh, begin with you first, Sri Iyer. What's really transpiring there in Los Angeles, and how is it being taken? All this is because of the progressives of the Democratic Party. They are running amok. Uh, one of the challenges that is uh, happening is that um, you know all these other movements you had, defund police and so on and so forth. Now you are beginning to see a reflection of that. And uh, policing has come down. In fact, in cities like San Francisco, Seattle, the police will not even register a theft of less than $900. In other words, somebody walks up to a uh, department store, you know, puts things in on his uh, handbag and then walks out. People are not even, police is not even registering a complaint. For somewhere, from somewhere, they've come up with this number that we will not register a complaint if the amount is less than $900. And likewise, I think that uh, Amazon, uh, the freight trains that are carrying these goods are probably, somebody must have leaked the information and these guys know exactly when that happens. Somebody clearly is hacking the, uh, the traffic signaling so that the thing comes to a complete standstill and then they go in with bolt cutters and clean it out. There's another bigger problem, Uday, and that is that whenever either, either FedEx or UPS or Amazon drop something at your doorstep, you have to actually watch it like a hawk and you have to go and get it right away because there are, there are cars just following these things. This is a real thing happening in my town of San Jose. San Jose is perhaps the 10th largest city in US. It is considered the safest in the top 10. And that is what is the fate right now because these people are brazen. They think that nobody will catch them. I mean, I have supplied video camera footage of uh, things being stolen and, and the police just told me that I hope you have insurance. This is the kind of response I'm getting. So th th this whole anarchy has started uh, five, six years ago and it is really, really running amok. And it is very, very crass of the NPR reporter to say that it feels like India and she's supposed to be covering India. By the way, NPR is the woke poster media. They will go and find some obscure Khalistani sympathizer and, and take that person's interview for 25 minutes and they won't even give any uh, time for anybody who may come up with a more real uh, reality-based truth in Punjab. This is how it is in NPR. It's very unfortunate, but we have to live with it. We have to rebut it as strongly as we can with facts. Let me also, in fact, quickly uh, get in at this point, uh, uh, Sri Iyer. Sri Iyer, now as far as, of course, this, uh, this story is concerned, and, you know, because you and Preeti are, of course, in California right now, how is it being, uh, you know, responded to over there? What, what is the kind of, you know, media reaction? What are the public of, of California saying? What are ordinary people on the streets saying about all of this? You know, Preeti is spot on. People don't uh, listen to NPR anymore. Even the works have moved on. And, uh, you know, whether it is TV or radio, people are no longer following it. Uh, there is more traffic on social media. And, and that's where people are getting their news. Of course, this will be played up by some people who have uh, inimical interest towards uh, India. But, you know, you have to move on. But the fact remains that uh, media has been penetrated by the left 
the ecosystem and and they tend to use this toolkit like phenomenon you saw for example bbc trashing india then it was the economist and then yesterday it was cnn and all these based on one meeting in which somebody uttered something intemperate what about all the killings that have been taking place in tamil nadu and kerala by members of the pfi popular front of india and and they want to slap islamophobic uh, uh, label on india see the point i'm trying to say again uh, is the progressives part of the democrats they somehow have essentially hijacked the party's agenda the moderates are fighting back you're seeing a couple of senators standing up to biden and saying no even though the cause is a good one by the way the infrastructure uh, is a good one bill is a good one i'm sure professor nalapath will agree with me on that but what happens is when you take a stand it happens to be on the wrong thing whatever it is the thing is democratic party is losing itself it is headed for a disaster in november and and then what happens is the biden presidency is going to be a lame duck presidency and uh, you know uh, that would be it i think it would be a single term president but the damage that has been done is incalculable over 1.5 million afraid fear to have come in without any papers without checking for covid and now covid is uh, you know taken over the whole country there are new variants in us that are not found anywhere else in the world so uh, i'm sorry i'm going all over the place but the point i think is that india has weathered everything well and there are people who probably don't like it but as far as one on one is concerned the average american has nothing but respect for indian they know and they they feel like indians work extra hard very sincere very honest to what they do and 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 that impression is not changing just because of one crass tweet okay let's leave it at that